General overview of Quran 110, known as Surah Al Nasr. This beautiful chapter of the glorious Quran was revealed in the holy city of Medina after the migration of our beloved Prophet. It contains news of a great victory and how a huge number of Arabs embraced Islam. It also invited our beloved Prophet to praise, glorify, and thank Almighty Allah for his blessings. Arabs held the view that the Holy Prophet will not be able to open Makkah unless if he is on the right path. Hence, when Makkah was opened, huge number of Arabs decided to embrace Islam as a way of life and as a means to salvation. Some hold the view that this beautiful chapter was revealed after the peace treaty of Hudaybiyah in the Sifia after Hijrah, meaning two years before the opening of Mecca. Others also hold the view that this chapter was rebuilt after the opening of Mecca in the 10th year after Hijrah during the farewell Hajj of our beloved Prophet. This particular opinion does not hold water simply because it contradicts the general content of this beautiful chapter of the glorious Quran. Another name for this chapter is at tawdi'u which simply means the farewell. It's simply because this chapter hinted to the companions of the Holy Prophet that the time of the Holy Prophet in this world was coming to an end. Hence, when the chapter was revealed, Abbas cried and the Holy Prophet approached Abbas to inquire on the reason for his tears. Then Abbas said, I got a hint from this chapter that your time in this world is coming to an end. The Prophet said to Abbas, Indeed, you are right. Now let's look at the virtues of reciting this beautiful chapter. The first tradition is from our beloved Prophet. He said, Whoever recites this chapter, obviously, with reflection, understanding, and seeking to implement the understanding in one's life, that person will be granted the reward as if he was with the Holy Prophet during the opening of Makkah. And last but not least is a tradition from Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam. Imam said, whoever recites this chapter, that person will be protected from his enemy and he will be provided with shields against the fire of hell on the day of Qiyamah. We pray to Allah wa ta'ala to continue to inspire us with the true teachings of Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.